Hi guys, uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to flash a custom ROM onto a Samsung Galaxy Note. So the prerequisite for this is that your Galaxy Note needs to be rooted and must have custom, I mean, must have clockwork recovery uh, running on it. In case you haven't done that yet, click on the link that pops up right now to go on to my video on how to root the Galaxy Note. Uh, once you have a clockwork mod installed on it, just go ahead and download uh, any ROM that you want installed. I've given links to uh, the threads for Rocket ROM and Check ROM in the description. These are two of the best ROMs that I've come across. So you could go ahead and download any of that and uh, transfer it onto the SD, micro SD card. Uh, this is the Rocket ROM and this is Check ROM. I've got both uh, both ROMs transferred onto the card. So you can go ahead and do that. And once you're done, once you've done transferring, uh, the computer part of this tutorial is over. So let me quickly move on to the phone. So now that you have the uh, custom ROM files transferred over to the phone, what you need to do is press uh, the up volume key, the power key, and the home button all at the same time. This will cause the phone to reboot into custom recovery. So you need to hold it for about 10 seconds and the moment you see uh, the logo pop up, let it go. Remember, let go of all the three keys the moment you see the Samsung Galaxy logo pop up. So right now I have the Hyperdroid Red Pill recovery on it. Uh, Clockwork recovery, uh, the menu options would be similar. So don't worry about that. Okay guys, the rule of thumb over here is that say you're on Rocket ROM and you're upgrading to a newer version of Rocket ROM. Uh, the developer would let you know if it's a wipe version or a non wipe version. Uh, if it's a wipe version, you need to go ahead and do a factory wipe before you upgrade. If it's a non wipe version, you can just go ahead and uh, wipe the cache alone and flash the ROM. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to presume that your either flashing across ROMs that you're moving from the stock ROM to a custom ROM or you're moving from Rocket ROM to Check ROM and so on and so I'm going to show you how to uh, wipe and flash it so first thing you need to do is go to go into the wipe menu and uh, hit wipe data factory reset select yes uh, the, the volume keys will act as selectors and the menu key I mean and the home key will confirm the selections Okay, so now that's done. Move on to wipe cache. Wipe cache. Move on to wipe Dalvik cache. And wipe that as well. And now go back. And go into install menu. And choose zip from external SD card. And navigate to the ROM that you have. In my case, I'm going to install the check ROM. So, and hit the home key. And now select yes and hit the home key again. So this will take a few minutes and once it's done, the phone should be back up and you should be running your ROM of choice. I'll be back with you guys once the installation is done. Okay, now it's done. So go back. And go into reboot menu and hit reboot system. Uh, so that's it guys, the device is up. So let me go ahead and skip these steps now. Go into settings. About, oops, sorry, about phone. And you can see I'm running Check ROM Revo Note HD version 5. So that's pretty much it guys when it comes to flashing custom ROMs onto the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, well, what I would suggest you to do is go ahead and install Titanium Backup if you already don't have it installed. And you can go, I mean, Titanium Backup will help you to backup all your system data and apps. Uh, so if you see that, you know, on the forums and stuff, you see a lot of people uh, flashing different ROMs and so on. The way we do it is 
we use titanium backup, we backup all our apps, we go ahead, do a factory wipe, we install a new ROM, and uh, titanium backup, you know, the pro version will go ahead and do a batch backup and restore in under 15 minutes. So, all in all, it takes us about uh, 5 minutes to install a ROM and about 10 minutes to restore the apps. So it's like 15 minutes for you to go ahead and switch between ROMs. So it's very easy. So I would suggest you try a few different ROMs and see which works the, be works the best for you. So uh, that's it guys. That's pretty much it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any kind of questions, feel free to comment or send me a message. Or if you want to email me, it's ash at cursedforever.com. That's A-S-H at cursedforever. That's C-U-R-S-E-D, the number 4 E-V-A. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Cursed Forever. Uh, the link to my Facebook page is in the description as well. Uh, and before you go, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my videos. Um, that's very important, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye now.